Hey, what's up you guys? So today I thought I would do a Halloween makeup look. This isn't like like a costume makeup look. This is just like a Halloween inspired makeup look. Like I don't know how else to explain it. So here we go. So I'm going to wear my blue colored contacts just because I feel like like it's spooky season. So let's be a little creepy. So I'm gonna put in my blue contacts. Whenever I put in my contacts, when they, like, go onto my eye, it, like, makes this weird noise of, like, the air coming out from the contact. It's, like, bubbles in my eye. It's, like, weird. <laughs> okay. Contacts. Blink, blink, blink. <sighs> also, my face looks red. My eyes look red. I had a horrible allergy attack earlier today, like, an hour ago. I couldn't stop coughing. I still kind of can't stop coughing. So if I'm like clearing my throat a lot, it's my allergies. My mom thinks I was allergic to my down comforter. So I took that off and I have like, I forget what it's called, like allergy resistant pillows now. I'm just very allergic. <laughs> okay, so my idea probably has been done before, but I just like thought of this and thought this would be cool to do. But other people have probably done this on the internet somewhere. So, whatever. Disclaimer. Um, I thought it would be cool to do a candy corn eye look. Because, like, candy corn is, like, Halloween. So, there you go. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to start by toning my face. I already washed my face in the shower this morning. So, now I'm just going to tone it. I actually have this new face cleanser. I don't know if I like it yet, but I think I like it. And I got it in my Ipsy bag, and it's for, like, acne-prone skin. And as we can see, acne-prone skin. So, <laughs> I'm using my homemade toner. Um, this is just, like, water. What is the other stuff called? <laughs> my brain has been so foggy for the last few days. I don't know what's going on. Um, witch hazel, that's what it is. Water, witch hazel, tea tree oil, and lavender oil. And it's amazing. It clears my skin. Like, if I use it regularly, I have not been taking the best care of my skin lately, as we can all see. So, my skin is breaking out, but this will clear my skin. So, I like to do this before I put makeup on, and after I take my makeup off. So, yeah. I like to, like, focus it on, like, where I'm breaking out. Usually, like, my T-zone, but... Oh, and also, like, the sides of my face. Because those have been, like, deciding that they want to break out. So, there we go. My garbage can is behind me, so that's why I'm just chucking stuff behind there. Okay. So, now I'm going to prime my face with... This is a new primer. Where is this from? I think this is from... I think I got this in a boxy charm. This is the Glassy Touch and Soul Pretty Filter. Glassy Skin Balm very reflective um feels kind of like lotion i've only used this once before so i don't really know if i like it yet or not hello focus um but i feel like boxycharm is just giving so many like touch and soul products lately and they're like all primers <laughs> like okay ready so i have this one the glassy skin whatever the heck hold on I swear, they're like, just like sending out so many, it's weird. This one, Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Prime Essence. And then I have another one still. Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer. Like, a little weird to me, but whatever. <laughs> like, I'm good on primer now, Boxy Charm. <laughs> whatever. So I'm using the glassy, whatever the heck, Touch and Soul pretty filter glassy skin balm it has kind of like I almost want to say floral scent it's not very strong but it smells kind of good I love um primers that are like lotion because I just feel like they like melt into my skin better than like some of the other ones that are like not like thicker but like the um Think it's the smashbox one like it's like thick and weird and a weird texture i like it it's just i feel like these melt in better because they're a lotion like you get me this one like hurts so bad 
I don't know why. Okay, there's my primer and this. Okay, I have run out of room. I think I said this on one of my live streams. I condensed all my makeup drawers because I don't have room anymore because I have shelves in my room. Like, not like practical storage shelves. It's different shelves. So, I don't have room for like eight bajillion makeup drawers anymore. So, I shoved all of my face products, like everything like primer, foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer, highlighter, like everything in one drawer. I don't have room for this because it's so big. So this just like sits on top of my makeup stuff because it's too big and I don't have anywhere for it to go. So there we go, okay. Primer, boom, this isn't even like the fun part yet. Okay, I need um, concealer. I don't like foundation. Hi, focus, hello. Um, if you've watched me before, I do not like, this is just taking out my whole face, sure. I don't like doing, um, oh, how funny! Another Touch and Soul product. I don't like doing foundation. I don't like how it feels. I've tried multiple foundations. I just am not a fan of foundation. So I use foundation samples as concealer. So, because concealer doesn't bother me. It's just when I have something, like, all over my face, I just feel like I can feel it. So I'm using the Touch, ow, I banged my funny bone on my desk. The Touch and Soul Advanced Real Moisture Liquid Foundation. Boom. I probably got this in an Ipsy bag. I've used it before, so. Boom. Okay. So. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. I need to wash it. And I'm gonna do under my eyes. This is more of a summer color, yikes. It's okay, my tan fades so fast. Like, I know it was just summer, but I'm so freaking pale. I like to do my brow bone, because I feel like I got a veiny brow bone. <laughs> um, so I'll just do there. I like starting with my under eyes, I don't know why. But like, I always just like to go there. This is like a little too orangey and dark, but it's fine. For the purpose of this video, it's fine. I feel like my skin is like <laughs> redder than normal because I'm just like allergic today. And then I'll, that was way too much. I'll just cover up anything that needs covering up. That looks terrible that's just such a big spot and then i have some on my cheek it's just kind of redness it's not really acne it's just like red spots and i think it's because i sleep on that side a lot i know people are like you should wash your pillowcases like every single week but like it's not practical so oh i just poked that okay we're just gonna pretend that's not there then i'm going to set everything with powder this is like the one and only powder that I ever use ever. <laughs> I'm going to take this brush by Farah. These brushes by Farah, I have a few of them. They're like so snazzy. And this is just translucent. There's a cat hair on this. Actually, no, that's a me hair. Long hair problems. <laughs> and I'm just setting my entire face. I think I really need to get into trying like face powder that is actually like my skin tone because i feel like it would benefit me <laughs> um but i don't know the translucent has just worked well for me over the years <laughs> so i've just stuck with it i guess but i should be a little more adventurous i feel like that's like weird like you get like well i get i don't know if you guys get this but in my ipsy bag um i get like a bunch of like foundation samples and stuff for example but I feel like I never get like powder samples like I don't know just weird okay <laughs> I'm going to save um highlighter bronzer blush for the end just because I feel like it so okay <laughs> moving on <laughs> I also I just reorganized I want to do makeup collection soon I reorganized my eye drawer and it looks really cool now and just like good Okay, so we're gonna do eyebrows first. Here we go. <laughs> I 
All right, so I'm using this. This is my new favorite brow product. This is Billion Dollar Brows, the micro, micro blade effect. And it's like little, like, it's, it's like a fork. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. It's like a fork. And I just kind of draw my eyebrow in. And I just recently, like, got my eyebrows done. And by got my eyebrows done, I mean I sat here for like 20 minutes and plucked them. So, yeah. See? I don't know. I like it. It's like, it's filled in but still natural, you know? Like, that's what I like. I like natural eyebrows. I've never been one for like those crazy Insta brows, if that's what that's called. And I don't like, um, I forget what company it's by, but so many people use this, um, cause I've seen them in YouTube videos. It's called like the boy brow or whatever it is. And they just like comb their eyebrows up and they look like furry caterpillars in my opinion. I know. I just don't like it. So I, I just like, like a nice clean eyebrow, like, I don't know, whatever. Now I'm using my e.l.f. clear eyebrow gel. Mine's not clear anymore, but I'm just setting it in place. nothing fancy just setting it down so that's my eyebrows nice and easy i think i have good eyebrows like some people like i don't know their eyebrows need help but i feel like mine are just like chill so now i'm going to prime my lids and i'm using a nyx jumbo eye pencil in milk to do that because i want my eye look to be vibrant and whenever i want my eye look to be vibrant i prime my eyes with this white pencil thing of the so I just like do some of that sometimes it's weird cause I'll like be doing something like this and I'll close my eye obviously cause I'm drawing on it and it, I can feel it move my contact off my whatever this is called and I'll like go to the side contact things <laughs> and then I'll take a concealer brush mine's from crown and I'll just like I like to bring it up here to my brow bone not that we're necessarily putting color up there but we're putting something up there see like hold on let me see if I can like do it see that like it like comes off and I can like feel it that it's like coming off I don't know weird so like ta-da it like it's it, it's not crazy white but I find it works better than just like a standard eye primer. It just makes it more vibrant. In my opinion, do what you want. This is just for fun. And to get into the spooky season spirit, I'm wearing, this is gonna be hard, <laughs> Halloween leggings. <laughs> okay, like every day, for the whole month of October. I've been like Halloween themed. Even my earrings are Halloween themed. I love Halloween. Favorite season. I mean, <laughs> holiday. I told you guys my brain has been so foggy. Good thing school is out for a week because that wouldn't be good. Okay, so I'm doing candy corn themed eyes. So I need a white and a yellow and an orange. So I'm using the white from the glitter bomb. That sounds funny. I'm using the white from the glitter bomb. But they have this really nice white. And I don't know. I just, I really like this white. So I'm going to be using that. And then I'm going to be using the Jawbreaker from Jeffree Star. Because this has a really nice yellow and orange. I'm going to be using these two. They're right next to each other. So we're going to be doing a candy corn. So, here's my glasses. So I'm going to start with the white, just so that it's more unlikely for yellow to get where I want the white to be. I am not a beauty guru. I just do makeup. <laughs> Judge me all you want by the order that I do things. Because everybody starts in their crease, and I never start in my crease. I just don't like it. So I'm taking a pencil brush and going in with the white, and that's just going to be like on my inner corner. 
like that. And you can do this with sparkly shades if you want, but I'm doing it with matte because in my opinion, I think it looks better. It's just a preference. And I'll do this one like that. It's not like crazy, but it is white. So, ta-da. Okay, we. I will be going back in with this at the end just to like re-brighten everything. I feel like there's a cat hair on my eyeball. And now I'm going into the Job Breaker palette. So, I'm going to be doing the yellow first. The yellow is going to be going on my lid. And then I got something snazzy when it comes to the orange. Okay. So going in with the yellow and just putting that on my eyelid. And I'm not blending it yet. I'm just putting the color on at first and then I'll blend it in a second. Ta-da. And then I'm also going under my lash line because we want it to match, you know? And I'm just going to do my other eye really quick. Okay, so we got the yellow. Oh, I didn't do under here with yellow. Okay, now we're ready. <laughs> okay, so you're going to take a makeup brush and you're going to take whatever brush you're going to use for your crease, not your crease, your outer corner. But I'm going to be blending it a tiny bit into my crease too. So I'm going with the orange. Got it on my brush. I love this brush. This is one of my new ones. This is from a Boxy Charm. This is from R&L Moda. It was like a set and like the handle is like textured and it just like feels really cool. So take whatever other brush. This is just my pencil brush that I use for the white. And there's like another like hair on my eye. <laughs> um, instead of doing tape to get like a wing shape, you're just gonna like use, hello, hello. <laughs> you're just gonna use the brush like as a guide, like <laughs> Trust me, it works. I've done it before. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and once you've got like the basic shape You can like remove the brush see if you want to adjust it a little bit more. I'm going to adjust it a tiny bit Okay, it's a bit dramatic But you know what Halloween is the time for dramatic whatever the heck So I also retouched the white just to make sure the yellow wasn't like overpowering it whatever now, <laughs> it's very hard to find things since they're all trying to squish into one thing. I'm going to line my eyes like twice. I'm going to do waterline and then liquid liner. My waterline is going to be the 24 hour Urban Decay Glide on Eye Pencil in black. And then I'm just going to take, I don't know which ones are good and which ones are dried out, so I'm just pulling out a few. <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna do waterline and tight line first. And then, I don't know which one of these is gonna work. One of them has got to. Um, they're both by Ciate. One is Starstruck and one is Fierce Flex, so we'll just see which one works. And I'm just gonna kinda follow the line of the orange kind of like the same angle of it one wing <laughs> switching eyeliners halfway through I think I need to just go through all my eyeliners and find out which ones are dry and which ones aren't okay eyeliner <laughs> I feel like if any time is the time to do winged liner now is the time so it kind of like goes with like my orange like you get what I'm saying? Like, it goes kind of how the orange goes. So, now mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes. I only have one lash curler, and I feel like that's weird, but whatever. Mine's from Sephora. Works. Okay, and then I'm going to use... Where are my mascaras? I lost them for a second. I'm going to be using this pink one. This is from Tarte. It's called Big Ego. I still don't know if I like this yet. I'm still, like, testing it. It's pretty new. I think I got it in a BoxyCharm. It was either BoxyCharm or Ipsy. I can never remember. But I think I like it. 
Angel, stop snoring in my video. Angel's so cold. She's like under the covers. As I've said many times before, my house is really cold because my dad doesn't like to turn on the heat. Not only am I cold, but Angel's cold because she's a Siamese and Siamese are like... My mom just sneezed really loud. Siamese are like notorious for being cold. She's freezing, so she's under the cover sleeping. Wake up! I threw a scrunchie at her. <laughs> okay, so... Now I'm going to move on to bronzer, highlighter, blush. And then, ow! <laughs> we'll finish with lips. So... I almost feel like I want to use an orange blush. Because... Now's the time. <laughs> so I'm going to use this one called Scorcher. This is the Alamar Cosmetics palette. This is the blush I'm going to use. But I can't use too much, otherwise it looks like too crazy. So I'm going to try to go in gently and not make it too insane. Orange doesn't really work with my skin. I My skin works with peachy. So sometimes orange is a little much, but I think... For the purpose of today, we'll be fine. See, it looks kind of weird, but it'll look fine after everything else. Bring some of the color back into my face <laughs> that I took away with all that foundation, concealer, whatever the heck. Okay. Now I'm going to use, let me put this way. I'm going to do um, some bronzer. Ah! I'm using the Tarte Park Ave Princess bronzer. And this is my favorite bronzer brush right now. I don't know why, I just like it. This is from Real Techniques. I should have known that because it's obvious. See, I feel like um, the bronzer is going to make the blush not look as crazy. Once I'm like all done and whatever the heck. I look so freaking pale though. I lose my tan as fast as I get it. I lose my tan as fast as I can get burnt. <laughs> if you can hear Angel snoring, I'm sorry. She has allergies too. Actually, she has cat asthma. And my mom thinks she was also allergic to my down comforter. So, okay. And then before I do highlighter, I'm just going to take my powder brush, which has cat hair on it, and just blend everything into my face so it looks more cohesive. There, that doesn't look too bad. And then, this is also my go-to highlighter brush for some reason. I don't know why, this is just always what I use lately. This is by Mint Pear. Never heard of that before, but okay. And I'm going to use this highlighter. This is new. This is by Steve Laurent. It's the jelly highlighter. You can see, like, a circle in it where I, like, touched it. <laughs> Does this have a shade? Cotton candy. How cute. Perfect for Halloween because candy. So I'm just going to go in. I feel like it's like not getting on the brush, but then when I put it on my cheeks, it's clearly on the brush. I just can't see it being on the brush. I was a little skeptical at first. I was like, I can't see this on the brush. But when I put it on my face, it's clearly there. Angel, can you please stop snoring? <laughs> So, I don't know what the deal with that is. It's kind of weird. It's kind of spooky. Like, Halloween. Like, I guess you can see it. I don't know. I feel like I should have seen more of it. But, I mean, you can see it when I put it on my face. So, fine. <laughs> it's just kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, so that's that. And now we need to do lips. We could go one of two ways. Now, what I would want to do is to just like straight up take like an orange and just run with the whole candy corn thing because it's me and I love crazy things. So that's what I would do, but I really want to film a fall lookbook today and I don't really want this to be the center of attention. I want my outfit to be the center of attention. So I'm going to go a little more neutral. But if I wasn't filming that, you can be sure I would put orange all over my lips. Even though normally you're supposed to, if you do crazy eyes, you're supposed to do neutral lip. I don't follow the rules, okay? <laughs> but today I do. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to look for a good neutral something. My lips, like, get really chapped and they, like, crack and bleed. They actually look not too bad right now, but 
I've just been trying to like cover them up lately because they've looked not good. <laughs> they've looked spooky <laughs> to go with spooky season. Okay, I picked out my lip color. Since my lips don't look too bad right now, not too bad cracked, I'm just using a gloss and I love the NYX butter glosses. They're like anything NYX for lips. So this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blondie. Interesting name. I know that's gonna be my lip color. It's just like a nice, like, whatever color. Like, it's just like, mm, fine, normal, and then eyes crazy. So, oh my gosh, my parents are being so loud. I even closed my door, but come on. So anyways, here's my final look. Sorry, my hair's a little bit crazy. I just like took a shower. So my hair's like kind of dry, kind of not. And it's like all over the place. So here's my finished look. I like it because it's candy corn and it matches with my pants now. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, I can't think because my brain is so foggy. What was I going to say? Oh, comment down below if you know what you're being for Halloween because I don't know. I have ideas. I just don't know what I'm going to be. Like, <laughs> I have costumes that I could, like, just pull out and wear from past years. Like, last year, I was a Dalton Academy Warbler from Glee. So I have, like, the, like, the blazer. I have a skirt. I have leggings. Like, I have, like, stuff. I have the tie. <laughs> and then I also have, like, a cloak and a wand. I could be, like, a wizard from Harry Potter <laughs> but I think I want to go to Spirit Halloween I think it's called and get a Slytherin wizard outfit costume thing although it's really expensive but like I am a Slytherin and I would probably get lots of use out of those items so that I think that's what I'm gonna do but I'm still undecided so if you know what you're being for Halloween comment down below because maybe that'll like spark some ideas in my brain <laughs> so yeah thank you guys for watching make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications because i don't have a posting schedule and you'll want to get notified when i post anything spooky season themed <laughs> i love this makeup i'm like living for it i love halloween i said i actually hate candy corn isn't that funny i don't like candy corn but whatever so, okay, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.